Welcome Legitimates to my new toy. This is my Laser Pecker 2 portable laser. Uh, this is perfect for if you want to start doing on the spot laser engraving at a market. To turn it on, you just touch the top button, the light comes on, you're good to go. Uh, there's an adjuster thing on the side here. You can either just tap it with your finger to go up and down or hold your finger on there and it will automatically adjust up and down appropriately. That uh, cover that you can see is in fact removable. I will take it off later. We've got a roller. I don't use the roller in this video. I do plan on doing it in a separate video. So just hang around for that. And this big box is the air purifier, which is awesome. It has two adjustable pipes. One goes from the cover into the air purifier and then the other one just trails off. I just leave it towards the floor. Where, wherever you want to put it, you could put it out a window if you want. Um, so the test things that I did is cork and coloured anodized aluminium, which you just burn off the colour. I've done some pre-made key fobs and an iron-on patch that's designed to be lasered. I also have here the wireless dongle, which means that I don't have to plug in, but the original does come with a cord, so you can just plug directly into your computer. You can also use your phone, which is really, really cool too. Um, so you can download the app and then connect your laser to your phone and use everything on the go. So if you do want to do markets, that's even easier. So I'm just going to connect it via the cord today. So I've plugged in and I've clicked connect. It's all pretty self-explanatory. And that red box is the amount of laser engravable space. So if you have a look down the side here, it's got all the basic things you'll need, lines, text, you can make a QR code or a barcode, uh, or you can just import an image. So I am picking my logo, or one of them, I have two now technically, and I will be shrinking it down to size. Now when I first tried to do my logo, it took a really long time and did each part individually. So what we need to do, and I don't show it here, is you right click and click the word rasterize. What that will do is it turn it into lots of tiny little pixels, which means it will go from top to bottom. And then we're just going to readjust the size. So up the top there, you can lock it so that the dimensions stay the same, or you can unlock it if you want to make it weird and skinny. You can also, from this list here, you can see all the different things that we can choose. And these are preset settings, I guess is the word you need. Uh, so it's a good baseline to see where to start with your laser. Now these might not quite be exactly what you want, but it is a really good place to start. And then if you go down to the bottom, you'll see preview. And it gives us a little blue box. You didn't see it there for very long because I've sped this up. So sorry about that. Um, this is about eight times the original timing, which is fine. Um, and I took the cover off. But I was hoping that you could see better. But instead, you're just kind of getting a blue flash, which was not quite what I was after. Uh, but you can see that it will do this business card pretty quickly. So if you were doing things on the spot, the customers could watch just make sure that you've got that covering over it. Um, but I think these come out really, really cool. Let's go on to something else. Let's do some text now. So I'm just gonna click the T and then the word text and write my kid's name just because it was the first thing that popped in my head. So over here, you can change your font and any font that you have installed into your computer will also pop up in here. So you have the options of millions of fonts, not just the stock standard ones that come with the program, which I really like because defont.com has some really pretty ones that you can download and then use. So I've typed his name and today, this time, we're gonna put it on some leather, et, so it's fake leather. They're little like so in tags. I just wanted to see how they went. I bought a bag of them for a couple of dollars off Timu or somewhere. Uh, so we're going to hit preview and just see what it's going to look like. So I, you can see I'm moving it down and into the space and I'll show you what that looks like from the laser's point of view. So we're going to take the little tag, pop it underneath. You need to bring the height down. So I like to just let it go all the way to the bottom because these are so thin, that amount of... Um, 
out of focus won't matter, I have found personally. So it is quite thin, so it can just go all the way down and it will stop. So then you can see there, there's a rectangle actually above what I'm trying to do. So what we need to do is we need to bring it down and then shorten it so it actually fits into the space. Now with this light, you can adjust the brightness, but you actually need to have it as low as possible. So I've got it bright here so you could see through the um, protective shield. But what it unfortunately did was it's still a laser light, so it has slightly marked it at the end, which you will see. So there is an option to have the brightness up or down. I usually have mine set to three or four, just so that it won't mark that rectangle. So it doesn't do the whole rectangle, it mainly just did the corners, um, but you'll see it in a second. So now that it's all lined up, we're going to go back to the program, we're going to click next, uh, because I have already picked that it's leather, and then we just click confirm, and so it takes a couple of seconds to send it to the laser, and then off it goes. This is real time, uh, all the videos are real time, so you can see just how fast the laser is. I think it's wonderful. Uh, so we're now going to lift that up. So you've got to hold your finger on the button to make it lift up all the way. And then you just tap the down to stop it. Now when I pull it out, you're going to see there's some markings from the rectangle. So that just means that I've got the settings too bright and I need to make it a little bit less. But still, I think it come out pretty cool. And the black writing is quite dark, which I appreciate. So this time we're going to do some stainless steel. It's a different design. I got these and I bought them and they were the absolutely wrong size. But instead I can turn these into bracelets. Uh, so this one wasn't in the startup because it has already been sent off to a friend as a bracelet because I forgot to do the intro video. That was my bad. So you can see here I'm just trying to line it up as best I can with my hands. So you saw that blue light come on. That's now got the... Um, preview and so then again we're gonna bring it all the way down you can probably lift it up like just a smidgen from all the way down if you wanted to so you can see there I've got like a very slight gap and now I just need to get the rectangle which you can't really see here because again I've turned it down so it won't mark things so you can't really see it on the camera but I can see what I'm doing in real life. I know that doesn't help you right now, but you can see what you're doing through the thing. It's just a very faint line. And you can see I'm getting up and close just to make sure that I do it all correctly. And I'm now, you just saw my reflection move. I'm now looking through that little bit at the front there just to make sure it's right in the middle. And then we are going to laser engrave that. So for this, I did pick stainless steel because that's what it is. Um, I mean, it does mark, it's just not super, super dark. Um, and I don't know if you can see that little blue dot, but it does move a lot slower than the other ones. And that's designed to make more heat and then actually mark the stainless steel. So it's at 100% everything for stainless steel because this is a 5 watt laser. It will still mark it, it's just not super black. But I still think it comes out pretty cute. So that's pretty much the whole thing there. Um, lifting it up from the sides. You can't really see it from this angle because the orange is still in the way. But if I pull it out, and be careful because it's hot, it did in fact mark it on there. It's just not super dark, but that's okay. Now these are laser engravable patches. These are designed to be laser engraved. So when we do them, it will come up black. Unlike some of the other ones I did, they come up more of a brown. But this is designed to be laser engraved, so it must have something special underneath it to make it go as dark as it does. So again, this is real time. I have not sped it up. It only takes a couple of minutes to do a full patch. I think this come out really, really cute. I plan on putting it on a bag or something. But I refrained until I did this actual video. But you can put anything on these. You can buy these in bulk of like sets of 20 in a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes. You can get rectangle, the badge shape, circles, squares, 
oblongs, like any shape. And you can get them in different colors as well. I really like the tan look personally. So I like this color. That's why I got this. But you can also get them in like white and red and blue. And they are designed to be laser engraved. So you will get a nice colored engraving from it. Um, whereas the other ones, if they're not laser engravable leatherette, they code more brown than black, which is not necessarily a bad thing. If that's the look you're going for, you can by all means do it. Um, you did see at the start of the video, I had some other ones and it was definitely a brown color. Whereas this one is beautiful and dark and strong. But you can see even like this is real time. It doesn't really take all that long, which is again why this is perfect to take these kinds of projects and do them at a market. So if you want to get into a, like a hobby that makes a bit of money, something like this, you could pay itself off by doing markets. Um, dog tags would be a big one. I haven't got the actual dog tag video in here, but I did do one. So see again, those corners, see the, the little dots? It's still just a bit dark, um, the, the reflective box. So you do just need to take that into account when you're doing the leathers and probably cork as well, just to make sure that it doesn't mark it on you. But all in all, the engraving looks amazing. So here we're doing a dice. You can get blank dice from, I don't know, online and like $2 shops have them as well, I think, in different sizes. So I'm just going to show you doing one side to show that I do wood. Again, I do have my um, air purifier on full, even though there's a gap at the bottom and it's probably not capturing all of the smoke. It's definitely sucking a lot of it out, which is why you can still see what's going on here. And it also takes away some of that burning smell because it's getting sucked into the air purifier, which is why I'm doing this inside and not outside because that would be crazy. But even wood, you can see how quick that was. It takes less than a minute to do a whole side. So if you wanted to, you could offer, offer custom dice at the market. They take maybe 10 minutes to do, but you could do them. I did that crooked, whoops. But you could do them on the spot if people wanted funny stuff. So this is how fast the cork goes. Now this was a JPEG that I imported and not an SVG. So you can see that it's going really, really fast from top to bottom and it's not skipping to the different things. That's the main difference between an SVG and a JPEG file. So, so long as it's very clear and concise, the JPEGs work great. But again, this has not been sped up by me. Everything's real time. So you can see just how fast the design goes. So you could do these at a market too. You could have a bunch of funny sayings. You could have them mainly done and then have a section where you put somebody's name in it. And that would be a really fun little project to sell at markets. You could sell for five bucks. You could sell, you could sell, pay off your whole laser with five dollar coasters if you wanted to. Because people love to be able to customize stuff and they want it now. They don't want to come back next week when you're at the market again. But that was really, really quick. It did have a bit of a smell. Um, but most of it was sucked up into the air purifier. Because again, I always just have it on full. I appreciate the full. But how cute is that? It's dark, but it hasn't burned all the way through because that was quite a thin one. Um, and so that's pretty much all I've got in this demo. But here's a whole bunch of ideas that you could take to the market, do on the spot, and pay off whatever laser you want. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!